spectator Jerry Harrison. Third corner for Queen's Park Rangers, which will bring Bob Hazel and Steve Wicks up again. So Micklewhite takes it. The signal is given. Wicks on the near post. Hazel on the edge of the area. Up goes Wicks. Oh, that's a good one. He's got it. That's a classic back flick. The signal was in the near post corner. Up go the two big fellas. Wicks gets it, and that's a goal. One nil the Rangers. Spricks forward for Riley. Good pass and good control. Spricks supporting. And again, Smith. Unlucky. And back, thankfully, into Pucker's arms. Great effort. Super move down the right-hand side. George Riley controls well, sets it up for Steve Spriggs, who's still steaming forward. The first time pass, Smith with the header, Hucker well beaten, but the post saves Rangers. And at the other end, there's Seeley breaking forward for number two. <laughs> Neatly taken. Well, the positive counter-attack. Left exposed there. Well, they were still thinking about that goal that they should have scored at the other end. Well, the obvious counter punch there when Seeley breaks forward. He's got speed, he's got a good angle, and he buries it very neatly. Oh, and Allen gets a good headed pass forward there. Fallon is bypassed, and it's put in. An extraordinary goal there from the most oblique angle with a certain amount of help but Clive Allen latches on to that headed pass forward forces Fallon to dive in down to the line a little knock and straight into the side netting wide for Lockhart in goes Smith he might be there Yes! Well, Queen's Park Rangers didn't fight for that one. The Jordy did, and he gets a good goal. That's from one Jordy to another, one teenager to another, and a fine header. Got support from doors behind him if he was required, but. Stewart doing all right on his own. Stainrod. Allen, lovely turn. That was a million pound goal. Well, the player who's had such a problem living down those price tags of his before he reached the age of 21 shows that he really has got a terrific quality. Dawes did well, and Stainrod knocked a useful header down to him. What a great turn here, though. Well, that win puts Queen's Park Rangers on top.